Hi, Peter, and good morning. Hi, Saber. Uh, so today we will try to talk about a bit about the crowdfunding campaign from we started yesterday at QGIS 3D. So let's go th quickly through what, what's going on, how it started. Maybe Saber, can you give me some introduction? Yeah. Uh, well, just to give you a bit of background, uh, we started QGIS 3D back in 2017 through some uh, QGIS funding. So QGIS uh, uh, 3.0 was the first version, which included QGIS 3D native support. And then since then, we added several features uh, from point cloud to uh, 3D tiles elevation profile. We have been working closely with um, other partners, specifically North Ro Road from Australia and Hobu from US. And uh, we had several private and crowdfunding campaigns. Now QGIS 3D is in a very good shape, very usable. But uh, the latest crowdfunding we have started is aiming to bring more features and making QGIS an ideal open platform for digital twins. Great. So next next week there is a QGIS user conference. So in Sweden. So it's like nice that we can talk with the rest of the team about the features. And that's correct. Uh, what what's the goal? Uh financial goal like and when when you want to ideally start working on the features. Uh, um, the campaign will uh, has started yesterday and will end uh, on June thirtieth. Uh, the amount we are pledging, uh, we are uh, requiring for this one is seventy five thousand euro. The minimum uh, amount to contribute we set it to two hundred. If your organization can't uh, uh, contribute through crowd. Uh, Crowdfunding, we are happy to uh, have a private contract uh, and we can uh, figure out some of the features you want to uh, fund and do those through a private contract. Once uh, the funding uh, is uh, achieved, we are planning to start the work immediately. Most of the features will be in QGIS 4.0 due to release. Uh, in October, but there will be some for 4.2 in February 2026. And can you talk a bit, uh, Saber, about uh, what we will develop, like the features and and what what catch your eye like about these features? Yeah, and... the key part will be a large improvement on vector data, mm, uh, things like uh, data defined properties for point players bringing some more flexibility how you display your points uh, for example at the moment you can assign uh, objects and 3d model for points but you can't change the style of that we are going to bring uh, some styling for uh, 3d models directly from qgis also packaging some libraries uh, uh, 3d objects uh, for libraries so you can easily select from trees, benches, lampposts in 3D scenes. Uh, there will be more uh, uh, performance improvements uh, for uh, vectors. Also, as of QGIS 3.44, which will be released in June, July, there will be globe, which we have added. And then uh, we want to incorporate vectors to be rendered properly in globe as well. Uh, the other big uh, feature will be SG uh, scene layer. It's similar to 3D tiles, but uh, uh, specific to SG. And uh, we would let uh, several of the uh, local government or governments uh, publish their data in I3S. We would like to add the, uh, the service to QGIS directly and then other point clouds. Uh, we have added QGI uh, point cloud processing a uh, year ago or two years ago. I can't remember with QGIS, but now we would like to add some more processing like filtering, uh, noise filtering, uh, georeferencing, uh, and uh, more classification uh, to point cloud. 
and then some uh, uh, cross section how you would uh, see that in 3D scene. Uh, in QGIS 3.42 and soon QGIS 3.44, we have added point cloud editing uh, where you can create a cross section, but with this uh, uh, changing the projection, you will be able to see the cross sections properly and edit the points you want. Yeah, and generally quite a lot of uh, improvement of the rendering qualities like anti-aliasing. It sounds like a lot of very nice features um so uh yeah it was really great to have them in QGIS. um and uh i know that the, most of the 3d stuff and, and point cloud was done through the the campaigns the crowdfunding campaigns so um so, uh, so we definitely yeah yeah we have fun five, six crowdfunding campaigns and all successful thanks to uh, the community and major donations from uh, several organizations. It's very appreciated. Uh, so we have got a 100% track record so far on raising funds to improve QGIS, which is very encouraging. Great. So I think the best, uh, if someone has any question, is to contact directly you, right, through LinkedIn or email. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will be also in QGIS uh, user conference next week. I will be also in QGIS uh, user group meeting in Switzerland. If you have any questions, any ideas, any suggestions, uh, come and talk to me and yeah. my colleagues, and we will be happy either to squeeze it to this crowdfunding or in future yeah. campaigns. Yeah, so the link on the crowdfunding also is on our LinkedIn or uh, Ultra, Ultra Consulting blog, and uh, it will be in the uh, comments uh, too, so, or description. So, yeah, thank you very much, Saber. Uh, good luck next week in um, uh, Sweden, and uh, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. You